guys welcome back to another video here on the nurse life today we are focusing on hair care for you guys that have been following me you know i've been saying that hair care is one of my goals that i want to work on this year the year is almost over you guys and i'm just finding products that's gonna agree with my hair that's gonna grow my hair or i should say trying to find products and one of them that i've been seeing lately was the batana oil now this what i got is the conditioner so we're gonna try this today because i'm going i'm having a wash day i already have product in my hair for the most part in the like the back but for the front i left it out because i know i wanted to try this today and so we're gonna open this together and i'm on my way to a hair appointment y'all we're gonna have to leave out quickly for those of you that may be in the dallas area or not i'm going to this salon called pressed they have like different locations around dallas and so i'm trying them today so when we open the botana oil or the conditioner this is how it looks this is this brown color i've been hearing that it has the smell of like coffee beans but I don't get that. It barely has a smell to me. And I think it does come in different forms, but what I ended up ordering with the conditioner, um, the directions on it does say to wash and dry hair, take appropriate amount of product and apply evenly, gently massage until absorbed, and then finally rinse with water. So why would it tell you to dry your hair? The first thing is to wash and dry hair. That doesn't make sense if I'm going to um, have to rinse it out. So anyway, as you can see, my sensitive area in my hair, and although hair is present, it's very thin. It's thin and short, because if I pull it, it's like maybe about here. Like a finger in length, in width. <laughs> So here is there, I just needed to grow and I just needed to thicken. So I'm going to apply this to my hair and I'm gonna leave it on for the duration of my drive. So I'm actually applying it to damp hair because I had, got, I had damped my hair in the shower intentionally because I know I wanted to put some product on it before going to the salon. It's turning like this white color, but it's fine. So I'm just going to apply it all around the perimeters of the front of my hair, where I don't really have any of the other products. And although I want all of my hair to grow, it's just mainly the front that is my problem area it's, the front is my most problem area, so that's been my focus the past few months. But I really would like all of my hair to thicken up. But as you can see, my hair has a good length. When I stretch it out, it's um, a little below my shoulders. And I am going to get the ends clipped today. So my hair has a good length to it. But like I said, it's just the front. And I'm loving my curl pattern too, y'all. I don't usually wear my hair out, but if it could stay like this and not shrink any more than, than what it is now, then I wouldn't mind wearing it out. But anyway, so that's in. I'm gonna leave that in for a bit and I'm gonna use this product over time and I'm going to see what it does because the internet has been raving. This product has been recommended by Dr. Sebi when he was alive and he is like a big um, natural medicine person. So I don't know how he got making recommendations for hair, but his thing is um, natural medicine to heal the body. You know, let your food would be your medicine. So that means eat properly, but he recommended this Batana oil for hair growth. Yeah, I've been seeing it on the internet lately. So I decided to try it because it's like, why not? What do I have to lose? at this point 
and I do think because of my hair that pulled out right here, a little bit of it could be hereditary, but I think what really caused it was some braids that I had pulled out um, a few years back. And I think after that, I just kept doing like sew-ins and other styles that probably kept putting tension on the front of my hair. And so it just never really fully came back. When I see some progress, then I'll probably make another like updated video. But yeah, y'all, that is the product. And comment down below if you have similar issues, if you think you'll try it. Maybe after seeing progress, then you may try it. But anyway, let's go and get our hair done. <laughs> home hair's all good but look at that let's get into it first of all let's talk about the hair salon the hair salon that i went to was real nice y'all that was my first time there and the girl she did a good job she did a really good job so i won't deceive y'all i do have some pieces in just to fill her out just a little bit but This is how our edges are looking and we are going to continue to use the Bartana oil along with my castor oil and we just gonna make it shake and see what it do you know see how long it takes us to grow these edges back and I know that I probably should only use like one to two products at a time but right now I just feel like it's been too long. It's just been way too long and I need these to come back ASAP, which in that won't happen. It won't be an overnight process and I know that, but I guess I'm gonna limit the products to the Botana oil and my castor oil. Now I did get this from Amazon if I didn't say that already. I would put a link down below, but you can literally just Google Botana oil and it'll come up. Trust me, it'll come up. So just make sure that you read which variation that it's in. I have the unrefined. So you want the unrefined version of it. And I think if they have it in an oil or grease, that may be better than the conditioner that you have to wash out. But this is what I have. I already opened it, so I'm gonna use it and just see what happens. But anyway, if you wanna see the journey, then stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so we can see how these edges come back in the next couple of months. Fingers crossed. <laughs> see y'all later. Bye.